hey fine wizards welcome back to another video in this video i want to show you how you can utilize the request dot security function to get data about any symbol on trading group and bring it on show it on your chart so without any further ado let's get started so in this video we're going to build a script that would plot the daily high and low at any time frame we are on for example if we go towards input here and here inside the input we can select any time frame we want for our reference in this example we're going to use the one day time frame and if we click ok then the script will plot the daily time frame on any type we are or any time frame we are so here is the previous day's high and here's the previous day's low now these can act as dynamic support and resistances for uh, inter intraday trading. So here, I, this video is not about the trading itself because this is not a financial advice. I just want to focus on the utility of request dot security function. So now let's go ahead and start building this type of script where you can plot the previous day's highs and lows on the chart at any time frame you want to, even though, even if you are on three minute, one minute, or at any time frame you are on. Now, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this script. I'm gonna remove this code from this trading box here. And I'm just gonna paste the code line by line and explain what's happening. So here, I'm just go ahead and paste the first line. So here we are getting the input of the time frame we want to take the high and low of so as i said for this reference we are gonna go with the daily time frame and we're gonna store this variable in we're gonna store this data in time frame variable now let's get go ahead and create a function that would get the high and low of this time frame so we're gonna get previous get previous period high and low and the first variable that we're going to get is so we're going to use the custom function notation and we're going to use this symbol to form this custom function the first variable is the previous day high or previous period high and we're going to use the request security function so right now you can see we are on 12 minute time frame so how do we get the previous daily time frame of gbp jpy data we're going to use the request security function if i go ahead and show you the request security function syntax then you can see it takes these arguments the first one is what symbol do you want to get the data for and then the time frame expression do you want to look for the caps do you want to keep them on or off do you want to use any look ahead period and also in ignore any invalid simple currency calculate bars count so you can read this in detail here i'm just going to go ahead and utilize what we need so here we're going to use the same info dot ticker id which takes whatever symbol we are on would assign this request or security function so here request or security function will get the gpp jpy data for time frame which we can see is daily here and what do we want to get we want to get the high of the previous daily candle and here we are assigning the look ahead a bar merge dot look ahead on because we want to keep the look ahead period on for the current day so similarly we're going to go ahead and get the low of the previous daily candle and then we're going to and then we're going to return these in side an array so now let's go ahead and proceed with the code in our next part of our code what we're going to do is we're going to let me just go ahead and fix this. So in our next part of code, we're gonna get the previous day's highs and lows using this function we created. So here is the tuple, and then here we are assigning this time frame, this variable inside this custom function to get this data. And in return, we're gonna get these two variables, which have been given assigned in this tuple here. Now let's go ahead and plot this data that we just calculated so we're going to plot the previous day's high and we're going to color this red and also we're going to get a line with the two and we're going to name it previous day high and similarly we're going to 
go ahead and plot the previous day low with the green color and line width. And now let's go ahead and also create alert function that will alert any time a previous day a price breaks above the previous day high or low. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and color the bars where the market goes above or below the previous day high or low. So now let's go ahead and save it and add this to the chart. So once we add this to the chart, you can see there is the plotting of previous day highs and lows. So if we go to the 12 hour time frame, let's say one hour time frame, we should get almost 24 candles in our previous day high. So let me just go ahead and count the number of candles. And here you can see the 24 candles. So this high and this low is of the previous day's high and low. So if we go ahead and go to daily time frame, you can see we are getting the previous day high and previous day low. The low of this previous bar on this current candle is here and the high of this previous bar on this current candle is here. And if we go to any intraday time frame like six, seven minutes, then we can see that price level being plotted here. Now, the areas where market crosses above this high, we can see are being highlighted in red. And if the market crosses below these lows, then those areas will be indicated in green. And you can also go ahead and create an alert because of the alert condition function. If you have not watched my video on how to create custom alerts, then please go ahead and watch that because in that video, I have explained in detail about alert and alert condition section. So you can go ahead and create this alert for the bars and this will alert you each time a candle or closes below or above the previous day high or low. So here you can see this can act as a very good indication of what the previous day price were. And if the market breaks above the previous day's high consistently, then you can assume the market is moving in the bullish direction. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.